In this demonstration, we'll see how to create a crystal report with multiple link tables. Now to get started, I'm going to create a new blank report by going to File, New, Blank Report from the Crystal Reports menu bar. I have an existing connection to a sample database I'm going to use. So I'll expand that, and from my list of tables, I'm going to select two tables that I know have a relationship, the Suppliers table and the Products table. Let's select both of them and move them over to my list of selected tables and we'll notice that now at the top of the database expert window the links tab has been enabled. If I click on the links tab we'll see that Crystal has made uh, an assumption about the way these two tables are related. And we can see that it has picked the supplier ID field in both tables to create the link. Now it does that by looking at the two tables to see if there is a field name that is uh, the same in both tables and of course there is supplier ID and also checking the data type of those two fields in order to link two fields in two separate tables the data type does have to be the same meaning they both have to be strings or both have to be numbers now if crystals made a mistake uh, in the field that it is assumed uh, should uh, be the link you can uh, recreate that using the correct field or if it's just not the field that you want you can choose a different field and the way we do that is to right click on the line that represents the link and choose delete link and then we can recreate it ourselves. Now, Before I recreate it I'm going to move these tables around a little bit and we'll see why in just a few seconds that is important but I'm going to move the suppliers table to the left and the products table to the right. Now from the suppliers table I am going to still link on supplier ID that is the the correct field that we want to link on in these two tables but again this could be any field as long as the data types are the same and there is some relationship uh, in, in the database between these two fields it's a meaningful relationship all we do is click and hold down on the field we want to link from uh, I'm clicking and holding with my mouse and I'm dragging it over to the field in the other table of course again in this case it's supplier ID I'm going to let go of my mouse and it'll create the link for us right so when we're laying these two tables out we want to put the table on the left that represents uh, what is normally thought of as the one side of the relationship. So what I mean by that is in these two tables one supplier supplies us with many products. Right? So if you just think of your tables in that way what represents the one side of the relationship and what represents the many side you'll put the table for the one side on the left and the table for the many side on the right. And Again we'll see why that's important in just a second. Now this link that I've created between these two fields uh, has some additional options that we can take a look at and to do that we right click on the line that represents the link and we go to link options right which brings up this window it shows me the fields that have been linked down again and it also shows me a list of possible join types now this is where uh, the tables being in uh, a certain position makes a difference so we see that the default option is inner join and what inner join means is Crystal's going to look at these two tables. Uh, it's going to find a record on uh, the left hand side of the relationship in suppliers, uh, find a particular su supplier ID, and then look to see if it can find a match on the supplier ID in products. Anytime that it does find a match, it will return both records. Right? What that implies, though, is that if it finds a supplier ID in the suppliers table and finds no matching products in the products table, meaning no products with that same supplier ID, not only will it not return any pro records from the products table because of course there is nothing to return but it also won't return that supplier I mean again there has to be a match on both sides for any records to be returned so that means that in your query or in your report in this case you could possibly not list certain suppliers in your report just because they aren't currently giving you any products um, or you could be missing products that don't have a valid supplier ID so to take care of those two scenarios or those two cases we have two other join types to choose from one is the left outer join and this is where the left and the right again make a difference for us so by choosing left outer join we're saying that on the one side of the relationship or the left side of the relationship we want to return all records so in this case we'll get all suppliers no matter whether they have matching products or not we still have the possibility though of missing a product in our report and the reason we would uh, miss a product is if it didn't have a matching supplier in the suppliers table. So again, everything on the left will be returned and only matching records on the right. If we choose right outer join, it's just the opposite. 
In this case, we'll get everything from the right side of the relationship, so everything from the products table, but we'll only get matches back from the suppliers table, again, where there's a matching supplier ID. So you really have to choose the join type that's most appropriate for the type of report that you're creating. Now in my case, I know in this database there are no unmatched records, so I'm going to select inner join, and that'll fit my needs and I'll get all the data back that I want. And in some cases, if you're not really familiar with the data in the database, or the way the database was created, you can simply try each one of these options one at a time and test the data that you get back to see whether it's matching what you expect. All right, so I'll leave it at inner join. Of course, there are more options here in the link options window that can control the results that you get back from your report. But for right now, the defaults will work for us. So I'm going to click on OK. We also have the option to add more database tables into our report without leaving the database expert. I can go back to the data tab, for instance, and I can select uh, the order details table and the orders table and move those over into my report as well. And before I click on OK, I'll click on the links tab to see the additional relationships that Crystal Reports has created. All right, so I can see that Crystal is using the product ID and order ID fields to link my new tables. So everything looks good there, and I'm just going to click on OK. All right, now what I'm going to do is go into my database fields list in the field explorer and select a few fields. From the order details table, I'm going to select the order ID. Move that into the details section. From the orders table, I'm going to select the order date. I'll take unit price, again from the order details table. And I'll also take quantity. I'm also going to group this report by a couple of other fields that are available in the other tables that we link to. So I'm going to click on the insert group button. And the first group I'm going to put in is the supplier name. and OK. And then I'm going to click on the insert group button one more time and create a second grouping on product name and this will come from the product table. All right, and click on OK. So what we should wind up with as a result is a list of suppliers uh, in alphabetical order ascending. Within each supplier group we'll then see a product and within each product group we'll then see the order ID for that particular product, the date the order was placed, how many were ordered uh, for the quantity, and then the unit price of each product. All right, so let's print preview it, take a look at it. So I'll select the supplier, see the products that that supplier supplies to us, and we can see the orders that have been placed for those products and their uh, quantity. So that's the basics of how we create a crystal report with multiple link tables.